most Ohio, reckless yeah, BDs yeah, out here. But I'm BDK. But he BDK. Hold on. That's a free Durker and Vaughn. Freedom niggas though. I'd rather them dead than in jail, bitch. Play on me, man. You got the balls to be yourself. That's why I like your ass. I'm gonna always be myself. Yarmel Williams, aka 051 Melly, aka the Grave Digger was born on November 19, 1991, to his mother, Angie B, and his dad, Yarmur Williams. Now, Melly came up on the south side of Chicago in the Calumet Buildings, also known as the Randolph Towers, and this is the origin of his BD connections. Now, after the Calumet Towers were tore down, he ended up moving to 59th and Calumet with his mom, his brother Wu and his sister Kenji. Now, this was also 600 territory as well, keep that in mind. And he ended up going to Deuceville High, and this is where he ended up getting connected with Mickey Cobras, you know, and this is kind of the beginning of his 051 connection as well. You know, he ended up gr growing close to a dude that was a part of the 051 crew named 051 Zico, you know, but Zico ended up getting killed. You know, he ended up getting killed by somebody named THF Aki. Now, THF means trigger happy family. You know, and during this time, Melly wasn't too active. You know, he was still going to school, still kind of just, you know, being bad, but just kind of being a normal kid. But after his friend got murdered, he kind of jumped off the porch. And Melly wasn't playing no games, man. Ten toes down. And he could move the way that he moved because... He had family ties all over Chicago. And on top of that, Melly was just like a cool dude. That's the reason he could be a part of the 051 crew and be a BD, even though most of their ops was BDs. You know, he just kind of moved at the beat of his own drum. And him being cousins with people like TYMB Courtney and TYMB Cortez, who were actually the ones allegedly responsible for the STL members death of uh, Tuka. So he got uncles like NLMB G Slim, who was a high ranking member of the No Limit crew. His stepdad, you know, Jerome Golden, AKA Fido. He was a high ranking member of the BDs. He's actually serving life in prison right now for four murders. And after his mom passed away, um, you know, Melly, he ended up having to move in with his uh, dad and his grandmother, who he grew very close with. That's why he had that granny's boy tattoo across his chest. But while living with his dad, he would hang out a lot with the uh, mall town GDs, you know, and that's the reason why Melly would get arrested a lot around the 67th and the 68th area of the East End Avenue because he was cool with them. And it's even pictures of Melly with people like Bump J of the Four Corner Hustlers. So he was all around the city, you know, and he had, he was very well respected and very connected. And around 2011, that's when uh, Melly would really start putting in work. And that's when he would catch his first body. Because in November of 2011, 051T Streets would be murdered while he was sitting in his car, allegedly by M Thang 600. Now, after this occurred, a war would ignite between 600 and 051, and 051 Melly was looking for some get back, and him and 051 Kiddo would get revenge when they caught Shaq 600 leaving a party with a female, and they ran up on him, shot him multiple times in the head, multiple times in the ch uh, chest as well, and Melly pretty much copped to this saying that Shaq was laying next to that garbage, smelling like garbage, pretty much admitting his hand in the crime. And what's even more crazy about this is, is that 051 Melly was actually living in the hood that he was terrorizing. He was in the 600 area, but like I said, he was a BD. He had a lot of connections and he knew how to move in a certain way. I mean, it's even alleged that he was dating Tay 600's sister and he would be there sometimes with Tay 600 there. That's alleged, but he would often, you know, mock the ops online about taking out Shaq 600. You know, like I said, saying that he was smelling like garbage and all of that. 
and you know this really incensed the 600 crew and since they was having a hard time getting a melee they uh they wanted to get somebody close to him so what they decided to do was they seen 051 fathead a beloved member of the crew and when they seen him out allegedly out on this hit was d rose la capone c day 600 and trick 600 and as they seen him walking with his cousin they let off shots on him shooting him multiple times in the body and uh, according to witnesses, C-Day 600 got out and allegedly shot him multiple times in the face. And after this happened, they was uh, online, all of them online, mocking Melly, mocking the 051 crew. And, uh, you know, pretty much just taking claim on the body that they had just dropped. Now, 051, they wanted revenge. First up on the hit list was C-Day 600. Now, they set him up to make him believe that he was meeting somebody to buy some trees. But once he arrived at the spot, 051 Melly was waiting, along with the rest of the crew. They popped out on him, started letting off shots, but C-Day was able to escape without getting harmed at all. Next up on the list was Trick 600. 051 Kiddo caught up with him, let off some shots, and ended up murdering him. Next up was one of the most famous hits in gangland history in Chicago and that was on L.A. Capone. Now, L.A. Capone was murdered by 051 Little Mick, and Little Mick is locked up for this murder right now. He was shot as he was leaving the studio session. They followed him into an alley, shot him in the back. Little Mick allegedly walked up on him, shot him multiple more times, ending his life and putting up a big score for the 051 crew because see L.A. Capone was like an up-and-coming rapper. He had a lot of clout around Chicago. He was gaining some traction in the music game, so he was a big target. And 051 was definitely celebrating being able to take somebody out like him. But see, now it was 600's turn to score because D. Rose and Trilla would catch 051 Little Mark at a bus stop, murdering him, shooting him in his torso and in his head. Now, after this hit occurred, it was said that more people were involved, like King Von, T-Roy, were all in the vehicle because King Von had tweeted out that he was in traffic with D-Rose. T-Roy had also um, commented certain things about being in that area when that murder occurred. So 600 was able to get a big kill as well because 051 Lil Mark was a big target too because he was also probably at that time one of the most famous 051 members and he had a budding rap career. So he was up and coming as well and 600 was celebrating again. There was multiple Instagram posts by people like Lil Dirk, King Von, D Rose even went back to the spot a few hours after the murder and allegedly recorded a video there. I mean, there were different Instagram videos. Like I said, Lil Dirk made a pretty famous one. Bus stop, man. Hey, this, this, hey, 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 this bus stop right here, though. This, this, this is a real famous place. Yeah, this is a real famous place. Hey, this bus stop this is a real famous place. The war was on, and 051 Melly wanted Little Dirk dead. But see, by this time, Little Dirk was knee deep in the rap game, so he really wasn't in Chicago like that, and he was hard to get to. So what Melly decided to do was kill those closest to Dirk, starting with Dirk's cousin, OTF Newski who was also a rapper, and just three days prior, had just signed his deal with Lil Dirk. So he was, uh, you know, ready to get into the rap game and become a star just like his cousin. But Melly would cut that short when he caught up with Nooski while he was out shopping with a female. Now the story goes, the woman he was with went into the store to do some shopping, and Nooski was sitting in the car. That's when 051 Melly popped out on him, shooting him several times in the torso, Nooski tried to drive away, but he just ended up crashing into the front of his store. That's where he died, and Melly definitely took credit on his hit. But see, Melly, he wasn't done terrorizing Dirk yet, and that's when he put his target on Dirk's other cousin slash manager, OTF Chino. When he caught him sitting in a vehicle, walked up on him, shooting him multiple times, striking him in the head, and again, he let Dirk know he was the one that was causing the pain. He was the one killing his family members. This had Dirk one Melly dead more than anything. And allegedly, he put 150000 on Melly's head. 
sending all kinds of killers and ops of the 051 crew Melly's way. First up to try to collect a bag on Melly's head was a trigger happy family member by the name of THF Raheem. One day he saw 051 Melly and another 051 member named Ario standing out on the corner and that's when he decided he was gonna slide down on him, letting off multiple shots, shooting Melly in the head and in the foot and also shooting 051 Ario in the head as well but they were both able to live through these gunshots, probably because he just used the 22. Unfortunately for Raheem, he didn't get the money and he would pay for that with his life because 051 Melly and 051 Ario caught up with him less than two weeks later, shooting him multiple times in his back and killing him. Actually, um, 051 Ario is locked up for this murder as we speak, but he never told on 051 Melly and there's another side to this murder that kind of took things to another level is that THF Raheem, he was the stepson of a THF general, Bezu, who was a known killer and a legend in Chicago. And once Bezu knew that 051 Melly was behind the murder of his stepson, it raised the stakes and he was ready to put in work. So now 051 Melly really had the trigger happy family, the 600 squad, really gunning for him so he had to move smart and like I said before he was able to move smart because he was well connected he also had a good friend by the name of Mubu Crump and they bonded because Mubu Crump hated Little Dirt just as much as 051 Melly did even though at a certain point Mubu was cool with Dirt he was even in one of Dirt's music videos back in the day but at some point their relationship turned sour and now they were sworn enemies making a lot of threats to each other online, and Mubu Crump was infamous for dissing the dead ops. He was always counting up the bodies. That's why they called Mubu Crump the scorekeeper. At the same time, I think him being so close with Mubu Crump got him in trouble because of the excessive Instagram dissing of the ops. It made him high priority. It made the other side really want to take him out. A Chicago rapper related to prominent rapper Lil Durk was shot until lifeless Saturday afternoon in Chatham. MacArthur Swindle, a.k.a. OTF Nunu, 21. Them left uh, Chino, I mean Nooski. <laughs> his ass right here. You feel me? They left his ass up here on folks now tweak. THF Bezu would finally get his opportunity to silence the scorekeeper once and for all when he called Mubu Crump and 051 Melly hanging out in an alley at a party that was going on. Allegedly, he was in the company of Lil Steve from Lamron and Lil T from the Trigger Happy family. And that's a female. They all pulled up on 051 Melly and Crump, started letting off shots, hitting Crump multiple times in the torso. He was rushed to the hospital, but he was later reported dead and hitting Melly several times in his arm, almost killing him. Allegedly, he was grazed in the head as well during this attack. Melly was feeling the pain, but the pain wasn't over because Melly would again lose someone close to him when he lost his good friend, Motor from Gyro City. He had grown very close to him and he had formed an alliance with STLEBT and FBG Duck and Gyro City. They were all clicked up and they all had common enemies, being OTF, O Block. 600, THF, they all wanted to take that side out. So they all bonded over that, you know, play cards and things like that. But Motor ended up getting killed one day as he was leaving the Golo gas station, a spot that's infamous in Chicago for a 051 hangout and people affiliated with 051 would be there. So a lot of the ops would slide on that gas station, hitting people up as they would come and they end up catching Motor. You know, him and another member named Side as they was leaving the gas station. Now, allegedly, 600 was behind this hit. So it was just more pain on Melly's plate. But see, the rest of the ops, the other people that Melly had attacked throughout time was still on the 051 crew. And eventually, they got another member named 051 Bankroll Q. And he was killed by Little Dell of the Folly Boys and T.Y. from GGE as he was attending a party. He was shot multiple times, but Melly wasn't playing no 
games. And less than 12 hours later after this murder, he caught up with Little Dale, shooting him multiple times in his torso, where Little Dale was able to make it to the hospital, but he was later pronounced dead. Not too long after this, he caught up with T.Y. from GGE. As T.Y. As was sitting on a car, talking to friends, Melly pulled up, rolled down the window, shot him multiple times in the chest, drove off. Another hit under Melly's belt. The legend of 051 Melly was on the rise. He was dropping a lot of bodies on the op side, and he was causing them a lot of problems, a lot of headaches, and they wanted them dead. But even though they would diss him a lot on the internet, shoot at him, made multiple attempts on his life, somehow, some way, they still had like respect for him because him and THF Bezu have some legendary Instagram lives where they're just going back and forth like in a cordial way, saying that, yes, I'm gonna kill you when I see you, but they're actually somewhat nice to each other when they speak in, you know, during their lives. I mean, even King Von, who is legendary when it came to dissing his ops and relentless when it came to that, even he had to give it up for 051 Melly. Now, nigga Melly, now he one of them niggas you could talk to, you know what I'm saying? You could talk to him because he, he cool, uh, and he got a little points, whatever he did, you know? So it's, 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 it's okay. Now, he tell me. Now, I, I, I highlight the nigga and shit. And then, y'all made dead, though, he did right now. But like, he tell me that's when he's alive. He like, I knew you was gonna get out shorty. You lost your best friend. God had to let you out. You see what I'm saying? Like, God, he owed you that. I thought that's some real shit for a bitch ass op ass nigga to say, okay? Damn. But even with the respect of his ops, 051 Melly still wanted him dead. And he definitely wasn't done with Little Dirk. He wanted to do to him what he had already been doing, taking out those closest to him since he couldn't get the little Dirk himself. And next up on that list was his blood brother, D Thang, Baby D from Central City, and OTF Fresh. They were all leaving the club. 051 Melly followed him, pulled up alongside of the vehicle, letting off multiple shots, hitting all three men, only killing one. He killed Baby D. Dirk's blood cousin. So that will be the third cousin that 051 Melly has taken away out of Dirk's life. Melly was becoming an unstoppable force to his ops. He began to, you know, call himself like the king of the streets and things of that nature. I think he started to maybe believe some of the comments that was being left under his Instagram lives. People telling him how much of a legend he is, how much of a killer he is. I, I think he kind of rebelled and knowing that he had that type of reputation, that people feared him, that people knew the work that he put in. At the same time, I think that Melly knew he wasn't gonna live too long. And he just made the decision and the deal with the devil that however much time he had left here, he was gonna spend it wrecking havoc on his ops. But see, it wouldn't be the ops that would end up getting the Melly. It would be a crew who he had affiliations with See, the Gyro City STLEBT 051 connection that I was talking about earlier, they was also cool with Taekwon World, who had ties to STL. But see, Melly had an altercation with a member from Taekwon World named 0078, an altercation that led to Melly sending Nate a message by going to his crib and shooting it up, shooting up his crib with his girlfriend and his newborn baby inside. This sent 0078 over the top. Now, later on that night, 051 Melly was attending a party for a beloved STL member named Can't Get Right. It was in his memory because he had been murdered. But while at this party, 0078 showed up. And when he showed up, the following happened. Man, it's a sad situation, you know, losing your life so senselessly due to the streets. And what makes this story even more sad is that just about a month before Melly died, 
the mother of his son also died in a freak accident. She was hit by a train, like trying to get her cell phone or something. So now you got a little boy out there that lost his mom tragically due to an accident and lost his dad as well. And that just makes it that much more crazy, you know, the whole cycle. But even though with all that going on, the ops was rejoicing that 051 Melly, one of the top killers, one of the top BDs in Chicago gangland history, was finally dead. They made a lot of posts on Instagram, on Twitter, you know, letting them know exactly how they felt about the death of 051 Melly. This event would also cause a breakdown and friction between Gyro City, STL EBT, Taekwon World, and 051. Because a lot of the 051 crew felt like, you know, Melly was in Gyro City when it happened. He was invited by STL members and they just felt like basically he was backdoor, that somebody set Melly up. So you had people from Taekwon World dissing Melly. You had people from 051 dissing Duck. So it's almost like they have beef now. But see, this is what I think. When you choose that street life, you gotta get lucky every day. Every day you wake up and hit that pavement, things gotta go your way. Things gotta go just right so you can make it back home in one piece. But see, the other side, the police, your opposition, somebody close to you possibly turning on you, they only gotta get lucky one day. And unfortunately for 051 Melly, that day came and we lost a young black king due to senselessness. And 051 Melly was only 27 years old when he died, man. Rest in peace, King.